Hey, we went to Blum and Poe to see the art of the Mona Ha, a group of uh, Japanese artists. Uh, very minimal. If you know the American artist Gene Heistein, uh, you just looking through a book of his stuff, you'll see it. We'll have seen this whole show. It's the same old blocks of lumber and rocks on broken glass that we've become used to when everything's minimal. There was there was a box with water in it. Ooh, a pond, but it was supposed to be a steel sculpture square. <sighs> yeah. Hey, at Honor Fraser Gallery, Ross and Crow, th these paintings blew me away. For one, I thought they just looked so masculine, I just had the complete assumption they were made by a guy. Ross and Crow is a woman. And I said, this remind me of Anselm Kiefer, the gallerist here told me, oh, should be thrilled to hear that. So they're kind of like an American Anselm Kiefer, looking at the just the, the insanity of our culture in a frenzied space with how do I put this uh, with no hay? Sorry, Anselm. Actually, Ross and Crow is smart. Get rid of the hay, and the, the paintings might be archival. So, uh, absolute must-see show. Hey, at uh, Taylor de Cardoba, there is excellent, mind-blowing abstractions by Hadley Holiday. And, uh, of course, when you're there, you always got to check and ask to see if there's any Frohawk Two Feathers pictures in the back room. So. So at Nyan Brown is Judy Chicago, uh, some work from the 60s before she really took off into feminism, before she really took off into using a group of people to make her work for her and then take credit for it. Um, patriarchy, yeah, that's what she does now. Hey, um, but who knows, I'd like to hand her an airbrush and say, let's see you do it one time just to prove it. Sergeant Brown is buggy. At Cherry and Martin, there's there's paintings of, of flowers. That's all. Hey, so at the Walter Ma oh, at the Walter Maciel Gallery on uh, La Cienega, I got to tell you the title of the show: El Jardín Femenil y Otros Ocasos. A solo show by Carolyn Castaño. It's of narco Venuses, women who have been victims of the drug war south of the border. They are amazing paintings. They're done in a seductive pop style, but carry, carry with them the weight that is on all of our consciences. The drug war, the legalized crowd, the traffickers, the people who collaborate with, who fight against. It's all there in this, these, these epic paintings where the beauty is cartoonish enough to just be seductive and accessible, only to take you in to a jungle of no return. Well, the one thing I can say, woo, about the Luis de Jesus Gallery is that I can't tell if it's a Pacific Standard Time show or if it's trying to be a Pacific Standard Time show. Is that good or bad? Hey, so what I really even bothered leaving the house for was to see Camille Rose Garcia at the Michael Cohn Gallery. Her Snow White drawings are up. Harper Collins has her new Snow White book out. She was in town to sign. The line was so long, I just, uh, I, 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 I didn't have anything to sign. What was I gonna do, have her autograph my arm? Anyway, great show, Michael Cohn Gallery, Camille Rose Garcia, one of my all-time favorite artists, definitely the queen of lowbrow in LA through April 14th. <laughs>